Okay, battle eye filters for Infistar. Let's do it. This is going to be rough. Um, to deal with this, there's a couple of good tools. Um, you should... Uh, this tool by Eraser uh, 1 is a... Uh, generates exceptions for scripts.txt so you want this so let's download it there'll be a link in the description for this works very well uh, there's some things about infostar that it generates those public uh, random uh, random variables so uh, I'll show you how to deal with that but um, this guide right here by eBay uh, the Epoch and uh, Daisy Vanilla Mod Dev. This is in. This is very valuable, and you should read through it. It ex explains all about Battle Eye. One of the most thorough explanations you can find on Battle Eye exceptions and how Battle Eye works. I'll put a link in the description for this. Please read this and understand what what he's talking about here, because it's uh, very good. Anyways, let's get this. Uh, erasers tool installed uh, you do this the reason I installed the BRC Archon tools because you can do it when the servers live I shut my server off after it uh, was uh, after I turned the video off but uh, yeah this right here B E A E G uh, yeah that tool extract that so you can, uh, if you're going to do it with a live server, what I like to do is create a folder called BE temp or something. Right, okay, and then you're going to copy. I like to use the console, uh, the debug console. So you need this file right here, BE underscore AEG dot EXE, and you need this. I, I run it like that. There's some instructions, I think. Yeah, read me. There's some instructions with other ways to use it, but you can just use the EXE if you want, but I like to use that. So if you... You can run it right in your... Right here. You can run it right in here. But if you're using... In fact, let's do it that way. Because you can just leave it in here. Yeah, let's just do it that way. You can just leave that in there. Um, you see that uh, the instructions say put this in the same directory as this file and this file. That's a big list of shit there. A lot of it's spammed. So let me just go ahead and double click this. So run that batch file and it will start generating exceptions. It's brilliant. This tool is brilliant. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Because that got big quick. Because uh, in the past, generally what I would do is I would... Okay, there are 99 new exceptions, right? So it created 99 exceptions. And... I just, I, I like this, it, you know, to look at it doing its business there. So, what you can see here is our scripts.log is now empty. It got rid of it. Let's get rid of this. So you can delete that. Right? And what it did was it moved everything. These two files were generated by that exe. This is the scripts.log. It just copied stuff over. And it, these are the exceptions that it generated. And you can see these are duplicates. So it was spamming duplicates. This is the, why this tool is so valuable. You don't have to stare and pick through and look for duplicates. It does it for you. So you can see there's a block there of exceptions generated, a block there, 
bunch of duplicates. Tons of duplicates, in fact, shitloads. How many lines is that? 4,186 lines. It blasted through that in seconds. That was, that's why this tool is so amazing. Um, here's where, let's look, let me show you what you need to look for. Stuff like this. If you go into your um, RPT, scroll to the bottom, you will see it generates these random variables and it assigns them to these functions. And you can see this is where it, where it makes the random variables and then these are the ones it ended up with. Okay, that's why this is such a pain in the ass. This has the tail end of one of those random variables. This is a random variable. So everywhere you see that, this exception or this this uh, code will keep coming up. We see these variables; they're random. They're uh, those will change with every restart. So these will keep coming up. So the way I deal with these now, you have to look at. For those of you not familiar with how BattleEye works, you have it's it's scanning um, network traffic and looking for scripts that aren't, and it's creating. Um, it has these keywords here. Let me move this over. Okay, so I have it set to one, right? So it's just logging this stuff. It's not kicking me for it. Each one of these things has a line associated with it, right? Um, Notepad++ does not have a line zero, and line one is a comment. So in line two is actually line zero. Okay, when it says this number 18, that means 18 plus two. So line 20. This is your keyword, create display. Right, there it is. So what this tool just did is it made an exception. If I copy all of this, Oop, I want the whole thing, damn it. You see that it added it to line 20. It added it to the end of line 20. Uh, let's move over. There was obviously some other ones that it added. And they were all added to the end. There was two of them to the end of line 20. Well, line 20 didn't even have anything. So... The way what what Battle Eye is doing here is it's the, the, these are uh, arm well they're arma commands basically if you look at all these words here they're arma commands if you looked at Infostar's uh, his Battle Eye filters. Okay, he's just using like, like, I mean, some of these are, are ARMA commands, but what's this been infected equal cheats? This is not stuff that's in ARMA. The way, you know, just, you know, come on. Um, that's stuff that you might find in a, in, a, in a hack or something like that, but these words right here are commands like if I go like this if I copy that let's say I go to Google and search that okay look there it is this is used in Arma all of those words that you saw in there 
You can find these if you if you Google them, you'll see them here. That explains what that does. All right, there's more of them down here. And this these kinds of commands, these uh, words, these keywords have to be used in Arma scripts to work. So that's why you're filtering for them. Um, some of them are obvious, like exec vm. That's used to execute a file. Uh, set marker. Any of these marker ones, very common in ESP hacks. Set vehicle. Uh, set vehicle in it is used to execute code at the in the editor and stuff, but they can also be used in game. So you filter for that stuff and you add exceptions uh, for the stuff that's legitimately in the game so you don't get kicked for it okay so let's move this back to other view okay and you can see the list gets quite lengthy right this one right here, what is this? Add backpack. That's pretty lengthy. Uh, but anyways, back to this, these variables here. These will keep coming up over and over and over again because they're random variables. So look for the ones with the random variables. That one doesn't have one. This one doesn't have one. The random variables are just a string of numbers. This one doesn't appear to have one. Look at Dwarden. He's got Dwarden. <laughs> What's the A2 dev? Uh, let's do this one then. Oh, here's one. That is a random variable right there. String of numbers. Let's find this. We're on line... It says 45, that's 45 plus 2, 47. Let's find this. Uh, we're on 47, so I'm going to put my cursor there. Okay, so we're still on line 47. This is the exception. All right, it goes all the way. Well, looks like I missed a bit, didn't I? Yeah, I missed a bit. Doesn't matter. Um, well, it does matter. Grab the whole thing. I'm sorry. And if... Okay, so I have the whole thing highlighted now. What I'm going to do... What's the key word? That's the most important thing there. Remove all event handlers. So you can see there's the keyword right there. Remove all event handlers. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put, I'm going to grab the largest chunk of this and I'm going to put a parenthesis right here. And then I'm going to put an exclamation point right here. And I'm going to get rid of this. This equal sign means everything in here must match. It's an exact match. But if you want to add an exception that's not an exact match, you just do uh, exclamation point before the first parenthesis. It's parenthesis to parenthesis. Uh, beginning, right? Beginning of the exception to the end of the exception. So, okay. So I got rid of that. Now, you see, I've got an exclamation point with a parenthesis here, and I've copied everything behind it. I'm going to control C that. I'm going to go back into scripts.txt. And I've got all this highlighted here. I'm going to do a control V and I've replaced it. Okay. 
So I've got a parenthesis, or I've got an exclamation point parenthesis, and then all the way over to there. That's the easiest way to do this. And I'm going to save it. Since I know I did that correctly, I'm going to save it. If I make an error, then I can go back, right? Or I can, I guess I can undo. Okay, so you just got to go through each one of these and look for these, these randomly generated variables. Here's one right here. Okay, so let's look. 33. Right, there's the whole thing. Okay, uh, click somewhere in there and hit home. Right, get on the line. So it was 33 plus 2, so 35. We're looking at keyword group icon. Group icon, there it is. Set group icons visible. It's grabbing that right there, group icon. So, group icon. I just click on here and then Control F, Control V to paste that in there and then find it. There it is, it's the very first one. Okay, and now we're going to modify this one. So here's our random variable. I'm going to stick my cursor in there right after it. I'm going to grab the largest chunk I can, including the keyword. I'm going to put a uh, parenthesis, sorry, and I'll put an exclamation point out in front of it. You won't have to do this with other mods that don't use random variables. Just Infostar. We're going to grab this whole thing. And we're going to replace that. We're just going to control V, right? We got all that highlighted. Control V. All right, we just replaced all that. Verify it's in there correctly. All right? Parenthesis closes. Parenthesis to open. You got your exclamation point. Okay, save it. Okay, here we go. There's another one right there. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these it will generate, but it will generate a lot. So we're looking at line 42, right? 40 plus 2. 42 is menu. Keyword menu. And right here, active menu. So now we're going, okay, so I'm going to put a uh, double quote there. Get rid of that randomly generated variable. And then I need to get rid of that equal sign because we're doing not an exact match, but it will have to have all this, but not exactly, you know. It will have to have all of this in there. But it doesn't have to be exact match like it was before, okay? So just follow what I'm doing here. Exclamation point, uh, parenthesis, and a closing parenthesis. Control C that, copy it. Go back to scripts.txt. Did I not have that? Oh shit, didn't I? Wait, didn't I have that highlighted? Okay. If you fuck up like that, just, uh, you can either do an undo here, edit, undo. All right, so I got rid of that. So let's do this and make sure it's on line 42. Uh, control F, paste, find. Okay, there it is. That's on line 42. Does that look like the same thing? Yeah, that's the one with the variable. So I'm going to highlight. That's the closing parenthesis, right? This is a new exception right here. This is the closing parenthesis. I'm going to highlight that whole thing. Come back into here. Highlight this whole thing. Control C. And I'm going to Control V to paste over it. 
verify that it did it correctly. There's the closing parenthesis, the opening one, but I didn't remove the, remember, be careful here. That can't be there. I, I did that, uh, what was it, undo? And that got rid of that. Make sure you don't do that. Make sure, be careful here because if you make a mistake here, what will end up happening is it will fuck the whole line. Everything after that, it won't do anything. It'll keep generating errors or it won't generate errors at all. You might screw up lines below it. So do this very carefully and save after each one you do. So you can always do the, you know, close it or, or hit undo, right? Okay. Which one were we at? We were at here. This one does not have a randomly generated variable. This one does. Fuck, there's a lot of them. This one has two randomly generated variables. That's great. We're on line 19, which is line 21. And it's create marker. So create marker. Look at that. So we need to have the keyword in there. Not mm, not necessarily, but it's a good practice to do so. But I'm not going to grab that random variable. I'm going to put my cursor right before it starts. Put a double quote. Come over here, this other random variable. I'm going to put a double quote. I'm going to put a... Uh, well, do I need to find this line first? Did I, did I do that? I didn't do that. Hold on. Be careful. I'm fucking up. Because it added these all it added all these exceptions automatically, which is fantastic. When you're working with other mods that don't have random variables, you will love this tool. Okay, so there it is highlighted in full. Let's do this again. So Double quote here before the random variable starts. After this random variable, I'm going to hit double quote and then exclamation point right there, right? So we have a start and we have an end. That's an odd combination there, but. It'll do. I don't know, but some, Big Egg said he can get rid of that and do it a different way but i've never gotten that shit to work i don't know this is the way i do it it works um that's an exact match for some weird shit i don't know if any other script would use that that's the thing it's looking for exact matches and if it if if a hacker script doesn't have all of that in it then it's they're going to get kicked for it right we got an exception for something pretty specific there There's another one with, that's a player ID, dev UID, that's constant, that is not a randomly generated variable, that's a dev UID, that's actually Chris's UID from Infostar, so, uh, this is a randomly generated variable, as is this, and this is line 27, right? 25 plus 2. Delete marker. And here's delete marker right here. So I'm going to put a parent. Well, I need to copy this and find it. Sorry. Always copy and then find the full thing. And then replace it with something else. So here we have 27, right? Control F and then Control B, paste that in there, find it. There it is. Make sure it says line 27, right? And we're going to put a double quote right there in front of the this variable. 
We're going to get rid of this ship. Okay, and then we're going to replace or remove that. And we're going to copy this whole thing. And we're going to paste it there. All right, if it's highlighted, you just control V and paste right over it. Okay, it's good. There we go. You see what the, uh, I mean, if you've never made these things manually, it's a fucking beast. Uh, you see what it's doing here is it's putting these backslashes in front of these double quotes to escape them. It's doing the same thing. Uh, let's see. Wherever it has a directory. See, this is a directory. So this originally had a, 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 full, a backslash and then a backslash. You have to escape the backslashes so that they actually show in the script. Uh, so it's done that with all of these. That's why this tool is so valuable. It does all of this for you. Uh, if you've ever done these manually, you know how badly this fucking sucks. Maybe I'll do a couple manually. I, I don't really feel like it, but this tool is so awesome that it's not really worth it. Okay, this one does not have one. We're just looking for the ones with random variables. This one does not have one. This one does not have one. This one has one. And we're looking at line 63, 61 plus 2. Okay, now another thing is um, if you want to, which is probably a little easier. You don't just do a few of these at a time, like set up your scripts.txt to maybe have like five or 10 of these lines and then do your exceptions, get it all working right. You know, turn the tools on and off and get it so it's not logging anything and then add some more of these keywords. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Do it. I, I've done it like that before. It's, it's really nice. So what did I say? Line 63 set marker text. Yeah. So set marker text right here. So right after the end of this public, uh, this variable, I'm going to add a double quote and I'm going to add a, well, I, I got to go fucking highlight it. Sorry. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. All right. It's line 63. There it is, and it'll make sure you're on line 63. Now we're gonna add this. So, exclamation point, double quote, copy this whole works here. And we're on line 63. It's already highlighted, just control V to paste it. Good. Look at the next one. What the fuck is this? I don't know if that's an, a random variable or not. I don't think it is. That one is. Uh, line 72, home key, well, that said line seven, 74, 72 plus, 72 plus 2, so 2 string, 2 string, so I'm going to cut this off here, I'm going to go, whoop, I need to find it, Yeah, 99 exceptions. And we're, we haven't even turned on any fucking tools yet. You see how fun this is? Okay. Uh, okay, there's that whole thing. Okay, right after the end of the uh, random variable, exclamation point, double quote, 
grab this whole thing. Oh, don't do that. Okay. Must have let off my mouse button. Okay, I'm gonna grab that whole thing. Control V to paste it in there. That's an array of numbers. That I don't think those are those aren't uh, um, random. Okay, that one doesn't have one. This one. What's going on with this? Oh, it's because it's that one doesn't have one. This one has one. We're on line seventeen. Line 17 is compile. So there we have spawn compile. So let's find this line. Control F, Control V, find. Okay. And right after this random variable. Exclamation point, double quote. Right? Yep. It doesn't look to me like any of these other ones have randomly generated variables. No. No, nope, those are clean. Okay, so no random variables in any of these. Scroll down through this massive list of duplicates, which is freaking awesome. You wouldn't believe, believe how shitty this was before I found this tool. Okay, here's the next block. We look for random variables. There's one. Uh, let's find out what line this is. 26 plus 2, 28. 28 is display add event handler. And you can see there is the keyword. So find this. There it is. That is on line 28. Yep. And this is our random variable. So we're going to put a double quote there and remove the equal sign because it's not an exact match. All right, we're going to grab that whole thing right there. Control V to paste it over. Very good. Save it. Oh, wow, these are big gaps in here. So it's going, this slash N means next line. When you looked at the file before, it was all, you know, like looked like regular code, but um, uh, battle eye has to have it all on one line so that's why it's doing this I don't think it necessarily has to there's a random variable that's a random variable ok 
Okay, so that's line 43, 41 plus 2. On map single click, right there is your keyword. So let's find this whole thing. That's a big exception. Lots of slash ends in there. Big gaps in that script, I guess. All right. There it is. That's a big fucking thing, man. Okay, so right in front of the M there, and then we need to get rid of this. Because it's not an exact match. I'll copy that. And control V to paste it. <clears throat> Right. Wow, those are some spread out exceptions. This one has a random variable. That is line fifty five. Line 55 is set event handler. Set event handler, okay. So let's find this. There you go. Let me get rid of this random variable. Double quote. Whoop, I gotta put a one of those. So I don't know how many more of these you want me to do. Um, there's probably gonna be several more. Let's just keep going here, I guess. I'll make this a long video. Fuck it. There's one right there. This is line 66, 67. 67. But this is a lot easier with this tool. Whippy menu. Nobody uses that. There's your keyword. Set unit recoil coefficient. That's for your no recoil option, I think. There it is. And exclamation point, right, right after the variable. Okay, up 67. Let's control V to paste. All right, does this one have one? Nope. This one, nope, and nope, and nope. You wanna do all these right away, otherwise it'll keep generating this if you um, don't put accept. I don't see any, uh, this whole block looks clean. So it's an array. I don't see any. That whole block looks clean. If you miss one, it doesn't matter because it'll just generate it again with a different, uh, a different uh, number. That one's clean. This one is not. That's a random variable. Line 55. Uh, what did it say? Did I say 55? Yeah, 55. Set event handler. So let's find this. And 
Okay. All right. Right after the. Uh, Right after the random variable, okay, let's put, paste this in there. Okay, save it. I think, is there one more block? There's gotta be another block. Nope, that's it. Okay, that was 99 exceptions we went through. Um, should I save that? Because I did some modifications to some of these. I think, oh yeah, I'll save it. What it will do now, you leave that in there because it will add extras. It'll, it'll keep adding to the end of this. So you want to save that. So this is good. So let's go back in the game now. We have our new scripts.txt all uh, worked out. Not that one. This one. This is the new one that's all worked out our new exceptions we're still gonna leave those as one because it, it'll it's gonna generate more shit uh, we deleted the scripts.log because we're gonna generate a new one public variable should be good that's just bullshit it's logging in there so let's start up the server hmm I guess I won't do any manually, but basically you go to the end of the script. Well, I could do one manually, I guess I'll, I'll show you. Mm. I have noticed that when you install Infistar, the um, the login is much slower, and it's because of those DLLs. It's calling extension. I don't know how many times, but it, you know, see that's new. If you want to fix that, you're, you're free to do so. I'll put the link in the description. Well, not in this video, in the other video. Uh, let's see. So now we're still generating logs. How many did we do this time? You see that it's a lot less though. That's spam. That's one error. And it's spamming. Let's see what that says. It's just this. That's that is a uh random variable it looks like. Yeah, that's a random variable. So let's use uh our our archon tool. To, you can just do this while the server is running. So this is how you do one manually, right? So when the auto script generator does it, it would add an um, exclamation point and an equal sign in front of this. Put your cursor here. Anywhere in here, doesn't matter. And you're going to hit the end key to go to the end of the line. Because sometimes there would be a gap, like there would be a space. So you want to go to the very end. And then you're going to hit a backslash N and then hit the delete key to bring that line up. Okay, so you brought that line up. Now you're going to hit end again, slash N, delete to bring up the next line. We're going to bring up the next line. N, slash N, delete. And then N, slash N, be careful because uh, there's only one line left. So delete. So now you see that these, we have everything from that exception on one line. So what you have to do in here is um, aside from the beginning and the ending double quote, you have to um, do these slashes. We don't have any. These are single quotes. You don't have to put an exception for those. Uh, if you had a path where there was a slash like this, you would have to put another slash in front of it to make it um, escape it. 
So we don't want this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a double quote there. Let's get rid of this. This is going to go into our scripts.txt. And you could also, if you wanted to, put a exclamation point equals, uh, or not equals, just an exclamation point. You don't need the equals because we, we're not doing an exact match. We got rid of stuff. Um, minimize that. Open up your scripts.txt. What line was that? 70? Uh, it says in here. So it says 70, so 70 plus 2, and we're looking... Make sure, check, check out what the keyword is. 72 is system chat. Um, system chat necessarily isn't the great filter, but see, there's the keyword right there, system chat. So, the end of line 72. So, put your cursor on 72. Hit the end key. Hit a space. Hit a exclamation point, And then paste. And you can see there it is right there. So, and you want to save that. And... Close it. Let's see if this is generating more shit. Let's reload it. And you can see we're only getting that one fucking error. So, okay. So, open up your Archon tool. Uh, this should automatically connect. But uh, if you're using a... a this is just my own gaming machine, so it's 127.0.0.1. That's the loopback IP. Uh, if you're not using that, then you would use your remote IP, whatever it is, you know, if you're connecting to another box on your LAN or remote or daddy box. Connect. Okay, so I'm connected. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload this scripts.txt file with this so hit execute and then go reload scripts so it says reloaded scripts so now minimize that and delete the log and let's see so now it's not generating any more errors uh, let's go ahead and turn it on, turn it on. Did it do anything no so now comes the fun part that was the easy part you're basically just able to log in and run it around a game. But if you have to start uh, turning on tools and shit like that. F2, I thought that might have done something, but it didn't. We're good there. Okay, turn on teleport. Just turn all these on. Uh, okay. Make them all green. And make them all red. I guess that's free roam can. And there you see we're getting some logs. 35, that's not too bad. Okay, so, wait, what? That's not right. That is right. I only got one. This hide object equals true. This hide object equals false. That's for the... Um, for the... Uh, what do you call it? Invisibility. Free roam cam. Select the player. That would be me. Okay. Whoa. Somebody's okay. Right click to get out. Okay, we got some more. There we got quite a bit. Not too many. Okay. Uh, let's see. Markers. Markers on. OK. 
éventuellement. There's no teleport where you can teleport. I can teleport myself to myself. Teleport myself to myself. Uh, whoop, I gotta. Shit, I gotta go. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so. This is not generating too many logs anymore. That's pretty reasonable. So, what you'll do is just, uh, let's check these real quick and see if there's any. No, I don't think there's any random variables. So, go ahead and run your tool again. Uh, I don't run that. I run the batch file. Okay, so we have 16 new exceptions. Not bad. So, go into here. And look at what it generated. Go down to the very bottom. Remember, it was just um, okay. So here's where it generated the new exceptions. Look at these. Um, I don't see any random variables in there. Man, this is easy work out of this shit. Fuck. This used to take a fucking forever. This uh, tool is so great. So, what you'll do now is uh, this is empty. Right? So, you can go ahead and delete that. And reload your scripts with your Archon tool. Okay, scripts reloaded. That's a fresh, it just reloads the, the fresh copy uh, while the game's running, which is nice. And again, start working the tools. And it's you need to do stuff in game, obviously, just turn the stuff on and turn the stuff off. Isn't going to generate all the kicks, but it will generate all, most of them. Alright, so I'm just turning stuff on and turning stuff off. Down there. Okay, free cam. Uh, I need to select the player. Me. Alright, just free cam. Right click, turn it off. Let's see, do we get. Look at that. No logs. So, that's how you do it. Just keep doing that shit. Um, run through all the tools over and over again on your test box. Don't do it on a live server. Um, obviously, I didn't spawn anything. Let's try to spawn a vehicle. You know, not that, though. Spawn that. Spawn that. Yeah. Did that generate anything? Nope. That's server side actually. Uh, these vehicles are generated server side, so you can delete those vehicles. Whoops. Did that generate anything? Nope. Hmm. So that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So. You're not really done. Go through all of these. What is there? Time Lord. Change the time. All right. Um, isn't there a set view distance or something? Okay, there's repair vehicle. Give humanity. Change humanity. Ammo. Blah, blah, blah. Find parts to hit. Ooh. Move gear. I don't want to break my legs. But yeah, you go through all these, right? You better if you had a second account. See, we're getting some logs there. We got one. Okay. So again, 
you just uh, run this tool. Okay, one new exception. And delete this. Reload scripts. And keep going till you get no logs left. That's it. Uh, that's how you deal with BattleEye. Uh, you generate exceptions, and that's... Um, once you get all these set, then you turn these back to five. Once it stops generating uh, logs, you know, once it doesn't have any logs at all, turn these all back to five. And... Um, You know, you'll be set. Uh, you might get the occasional kick here and there because you're, you're bound to miss something. When there's that much shit going on in admin tools and in the game and you add another scripts. So whenever you add another script to your server, you turn all these texts or scripts.txt to a one. Uh, if you know there's a public variable used in that script, you know, Set this one to a one and run your shit and see what you're getting kicks for. And just remember that, uh, whoop, that's the log. Uh, remember that line two equals line zero to battle eye because there's no line one in notepad plus plus and line one is a comment. So it starts counting here. So whatever it says in there, it's that number plus two. And also verify the keyword. Look for the keyword. All right? It's kicking for keywords in scripts. Okay? Some of these other ones are a little bit more complicated, like waypoints. Um, that's only you only see that if you're spawning AI client side. The only thing I know of that does that is the um, the evac chopper mod that I updated and there's uh, there's some stuff that not remote um, there's some stuff that goes in remote exec for that but those are included with that mod so you just add those as I had them and you're fine but uh, I don't know what else to tell you about battle I that's pretty much it. That's how you do exceptions. That tool is fucking brilliant. Uh, you know, cheers to that guy for making that thing. It's so great. Scripts.txt is, is the hardest one to do. The rest of them are pretty much cakewalk. Um, but you should have good battle eye filters, uh, aggressive ones that's filtering for a lot of these keywords. Uh, there's even other ones you can add in there. Um, anything that's common to hacks really is what you're looking for. But that's it, guys. Um, don't know what else to tell you. That That's the end of this video. This this tool is really cool. Uh, thanks to Infostar for actually updating that and giving it away for free. There is a paid version. It's the premium version. There's other stuff in here. You can get, uh, see it says premium here. It'll tell you VPN. You can kick for VPNs and shit like that. Just, uh, it's kind of like battle, battle metrics, I guess, is a little bit better. But this one is excellent for the price. Uh, it's 15 bucks, I think. 15. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, 15 euro. Yeah, that's a good price for all of these features. But, uh, yeah, the free version works great. Love it. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.